A group of Italian conservationists are tucking in glaciers with special blankets to protect them from melting in the summer. Here are the details. The BBC reports that conservation workers have been covering the Presena Glacier in northern Italy with huge cloth sheets every year since 2008. They put the sheets on at the end of the ski season and take them off again in September, ready for the cooler temperatures and winter snowfalls. These sheets are made from a special reflective material called a geotextile, which reflects the sun's rays to help prevent the snow underneath from melting. The conservationists say about 70% of the snow can be saved over the summer by using the protective sheets. Each sheet is 5 meters wide and 70 meters long, and they're sewn together and weighted in place so they don't blow away. In total, they cover around 120,000 square meters of the glacier. Covering this much of the glacier is no easy task and can take between a month and six weeks for the team to complete. The volume of the Prisena Glacier has shrunk by more than a third since 1993. The glacier has also been plagued by algae that turns its white snow pink. The algae also absorbs sunlight and increases the risk of ice melting. Glaciologists say glaciers and their retreat are perhaps the most striking manifestation of ongoing global warming. Studying glaciers is therefore important to understand the direction in which the planet's climate is heading. A new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the U.S. claims that the massive Greenland ice sheet is on the brink of a major tipping point. The study's authors say enough ice to raise the global sea level by more than a meter is probably already doomed to melt from Greenland in the next few decades. Here are the details. The Guardian reports that a new study of the ice sheet heights and melting rates in Greenland's Jakobshan Basin shows that the Greenland ice sheet is on the brink of a major tipping point. Rising temperatures caused by the climate crisis have already seen trillions of tons of Greenland's ice pour into the ocean. Melting its ice sheet completely would eventually raise the global sea level by 7 meters. The prime suspect for this surge in melting in Greenland is a vicious circle in which melting lowers the height of the ice sheet, exposing it to the warmer air found at lower altitudes, which causes further melting. Study co-author Niklas Boers says the findings show destabilization of this ice sheet is underway and might already have passed the tipping point. Boers said the findings suggest there will be substantially increased melting in the near future. Ice equivalent to 1 to 2 meters of sea level rise was probably already doomed to melt, though this would take centuries, and melting the whole ice sheet would take a millennium. Scientists say any large-scale melting of the Greenland ice sheet would have long-term global consequences beyond rising sea levels. It could halt the Gulf Stream ocean current, with potential knock-on effects of the Amazon rainforest and tropical monsoons. These days, it's not that uncommon to hear people say the world is falling apart. But today, it turns out the world literally is falling apart. Here's what you need to know. The world's largest iceberg has broken off an ice shelf in Antarctica, according to the European Space Agency. The iceberg calved from the western side of the Rhone ice shelf into the Weddell Sea. At around 170 kilometers long and 25 kilometers wide, or 105 miles long and 15 miles wide, it is slightly larger than the Spanish island of Mallorca, according to the ESA, and almost four times larger than New York City, according to The Guardian. CNN reports that when this ice melts, it will not lead to a rise in sea levels because it was previously a part of a floating ice shelf rather than resting on land. This in contrast to glaciers or ice sheets, which do cause sea level rises when they melt, as they join the ocean having previously been resting on land. The formation of this particular iceberg is not believed to have been caused by climate change, according to Alex Brisbane, a glaciologist at the British Antarctic Survey, cited by New Scientist. However, considering the ongoing issue of melting ice more generally, which has been linked to climate change, according to The Guardian, CNN notes that if Antarctica's entire ice sheet was to melt, sea levels could rise by almost 190 feet, or 58 meters. Ice shelf carving may not directly cause sea level rises, but can do it indirectly. Ice shelves act as a buffer, preventing glaciers that sit on land from collapsing into the ocean and causing sea level rises, according to Ella Gilbert, a research scientist in the University of Reading's Department of Meteorology. When they collapse, it's like a giant cork being removed from a bottle, allowing unimaginable amounts of water from glaciers to pour into the sea, she said. Last month, the University of Reading released data from what it described as the most detailed ever study forecasting the vulnerability of ice shelves surrounding Antarctica to climate change. It said 34% of the area of all Antarctic ice shelves would be at risk of destabilization under 4 degrees Celsius or 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit of global warming. 
Alternatively, limiting global warming to 2 degrees Celsius or 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit would have the area at risk and possibly avoid significant sea level rise. Scientists found that warm water is eating away the pillars under Antarctica's so-called Doomsday Glacier at an alarming rate. This could cause the massive glacier to collapse into the ocean. Science Magazine reports that Antarctica's Doomsday Glacier is melting faster than expected and could raise global sea levels by up to 65 centimeters. With a surface area the size of Britain and a depth of up to 4 kilometers, Thwaites Glacier is called Doomsday Glacier because of its projected impact on the rise of sea levels. Data was collected by the uncrewed submarine RAN that made its way under the glacier. The drone submarine found that currents of warm water are finding their way deep into the ocean under the ice shelf. The fact that so much warm water is finding its way to the base of the glacier is alarming glaciologists. That's because the warm water is melting away the pillars at the landward side on which the glacier is anchored. The fear is that, if the ice pillars collapse, large areas of ice would break off into the ocean, causing the ice to melt faster and causing more ice to flow into the ocean from the land-based part of the glacier. Scientists are rethinking the limits of life on Earth after stumbling on a group of strange organisms living deep under a 900-meter-thick ice shelf. The Guardian reports that researchers accidentally found a life-bearing rock after sinking a borehole through the filchner ron ice shelf to obtain a sediment core from the seabed. While the rocks spoiled their chances of obtaining the core, footage from a video camera captured unexpected images of organisms living far beneath an ice shelf. Surveys of Antarctic marine life have never previously found such stationary filter feeders, which survive by ingesting food that falls down on them. It was assumed that the total darkness, the lack of food, and the freezing water was too hostile for them. Footage of the boulder shows that it is home to at least two types of sponge, one of which has a long stem that opens into a head. Organisms that look like tube worms or stalked barnacles also appear to be growing on the rock. Scientists theorize the animals feed on dead plankton that is carried more than 600 kilometers by currents before reaching them. The Guardian reports that a study by the Chinese Academy of Sciences has found that recent human activity has shifted the Earth's axis by an unprecedented margin. The planet's geographic north and south poles are the points where its axis of rotation intersects the surface, but they are not fixed. Changes in how the Earth's mass is distributed around the planet cause the axis, and therefore the poles, to move. In the past, only natural factors such as ocean currents and the convection of hot rock in the deep Earth contributed to the drifting of the poles. But the new research shows that since the 1990s, the loss of hundreds of billions of tons of ice a year into the oceans, resulting from global warming, has caused the poles to move in new directions. The scientists found the average speed of drift from 1995 to 2020 was 17 times faster than from 1981 to 1995. Since 1980, the positions of the poles have moved about 4 meters. The study theorizes that the accelerated decline of water stored on land is the main driver of the rapid polar drift since the 1990s. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.